A virtual hearing was held this morning as lawyers for actor Jussie Smollett ask for more time to prepare for his uh, disorderly conduct case. Dana Rebick live at the Cook County Criminal Courthouse with an update for us. Dana? Well, Jesse Smollett appeared virtually from New York City uh, for this hearing this morning. His attorneys, though, were here in Chicago and held a press conference this afternoon updating us on his case. Now, today, the judge, uh, James Lynn, he granted Smollett's attorneys more time to prepare arguments on several issues in this case, including whether or not they can introduce a key witness's previous battery conviction. That witness, one of the brothers Smollett allegedly hired to help stage a racist and homophobic attack against him back Back in January 2019. At the time, Smollett was starring in the hit TV show Empire. Two months after the incident, charges were dropped after a plea deal where Smollett had to complete community service and forfeit his bail. The city of Chicago then sued him for the cost of the police investigation. And in February 2020, a Cook County grand jury indicted Smollett after further investigation by a special prosecutor. Now, the judge this past Friday ordered that Smollett's attorney, Nen Nenye Uche, could stay Stay on the case, but they prohibited him from speaking with these two brothers, the Osadero brothers. A special prosecutor accused Uche of having contact with them, which he feels is a conflict of interest. Smollett is charged with several counts of felony disorderly conduct, accused of filing false police reports about what happened. He has denied the allegations and pleaded not guilty. His attorneys maintain his innocence and feel, given the gun violence in Chicago and the ongoing pandemic, that this case is a waste of resources. How much of the taxpayers' money has been spent on the lowest level felony charge, which is a class four disorderly conduct? This is not a murder case. This is not a, an armed robbery case. This is not a bank robbery case. This is a class four felony disorderly conduct. To me, it might as well be a misdemeanor charge. Now, last summer, a judge uh, struck down Smollett's claim that these charges violated uh, the principle of double jeopardy. The next hearing for Smollett will be August 26th, and the judge today said that they should be preparing for trial. Live at 26th in California, Dana Rebic, WGN News.